Hey y'all, welcome to this talk today. So a couple abstract ideas for working with surfaces, surface definitions, adding boundaries to surfaces, and just some ideas for how you can work through it with multiple different scenarios. And I'm just gonna give some abstract ideas and then how to apply these abstract thoughts to your designs as you're, as you're creating those existing conditions. So surface definition history with multiple boundaries. Oops, go some PowerPoint mode. Surface definition history with multiple boundaries slash edits. So how can we see our history in the surface definition tab of a surface, everything that's been done, and how can we work with multiple boundaries uh, within a surface? So quite frankly, uh, you only have one boundary in a surface, but we can have multiple within the surface definition and making one active versus another one. All right, so first thing, surface definition history, so applying changes. So say we want to, erase a change, bring a change back, how to do all that with our surface definition history. Uh, multiple boundaries. So we can only have one active, but we can have multiple that the surface could see potentially. So a couple different ideas with that. Uh, destructive versus non-destructive boundaries. So we're gonna talk about that, how that works. And then uh, how that applies with a destructive boundary and you can use that as a shrink wrap uh, scenario. So bouncing into civil 3D here. Civil, we're in 2023, but this is an age old, age old thing. So I get a surface here, creative and points. This is my surface, surface styles, triangles, points displayed with that greenish boundary. So let's say we want to just edit our surface here. So I'm just going to grab my surface. We have this contextual ribbon, surface EG open. So let's say we want to delete a point right here. So we'll just go ahead and we'll delete a point. And let's just delete anything. We'll just grab a center one. Let's delete this point right now. And select it and enter. Okay, see the triangulation repopulate. All right, we've edited our surface. Now, if we go into the prospector here under surfaces, surface EG, this is the one we're editing, surface properties, we can see in our definition tab, we have a delete point. So this is our history. So just because we deleted it from the surface doesn't mean we that is a permanent edit. If you deleted that point itself from the file, then it would be a permanent edit. So it's always a good idea to edit the surface, not the points defining it. As our servers always say, if they give you the data, leave that as is. So we're not liable for changing surveyor's data. All right, so let's say we want to bring this back. Uncheck it and apply and rebuild the surface. Check, watch this triangulation right back here. Rebuild, boom, boom, there comes our point back. It's just, uh, we just deleted it from the surface. Now, same thing, if you want to swap edges, you see that. Now, it's also a hierarchy as you go down. So add the lowest, the farthest down to the last edit. So this is what we're gonna do next. We're going to add in some boundaries and we're gonna see those uh, populate in our surface definition here. All right, so closing my surface properties, we'll leave that point deleted. Let's say we wanna play around with some boundaries. All right, so I'm just gonna draw a quick polyline and we're just gonna draw this around the surface. Something like this, boom, we're just gonna dive in, dive out, dive in, dive out, boom, boom. Something like this. No method to the madness. And then C to close it. All right, we got a polyline that went up and around. Now let's go ahead and add this into as a boundary. So uh, prospector, um, EG open it up, open up our definition. We're gonna add in a boundary, right click, add. And we'll call this outer and we'll call this non-destructive. Non-destructive, uh, there we go. So type is outer right here. And then here's our non-destructive break line. So by it's a little bit backwards. So by checking it, it means it's non-destructive. So what does non-destructive mean? Non-destructive means that say you're making cookies at Christmas and you're making gingerbread and you have those nice little you know snowman cookie cutters. That's what a non-destructive is. It's gonna cut it, it's gonna cut it along the surface triangulation. So what we'll see is we're gonna see just a clean cut right here at all these lines. So for example, nice clean cut right here. So outer, non-destructive, right click, okay. Let's we'll say okay to add it. And now we're gonna select our object. So we're gonna select this polyline we just created. And notice we have this nice clean cut right here in our boundary. Cut. And notice it cut through the triangles, but just because it cut through it, it didn't eliminate the triangles. That's the difference between a destructive and a non-destructive. All right, let's do this again. Let's go ahead, right click, add a boundary. And we're gonna call this outer destructive. Type outer, it's gonna be destructive. Remember, now we're gonna uncheck it so it becomes a destructive boundary. 
And what this is going to do is anytime a triangle is touched by the boundary, the whole triangle is eliminated. It's like a shrink wrap boundary. The whole surface is going to be inside the outer boundary. It's not going to be up to the edge of it like a gingerbread cookie, so to speak. So we'll uncheck that. We'll say OK. We'll add it. We'll select our objects now. And OK. So now we have our two boundaries added to our surface right here. And let's go in, let's crack open our surface definition, surface properties definition right here. And notice we have our two boundaries that have been added. So we have our add boundary, add boundary. So let's go ahead and let's unselect our non-destructive boundary. So by eliminating our non-destructive boundary, we're going to leave our destructive boundary, rebuild the surface. And we'll say, okay, let's just see what we got going on here. So notice, nothing is touching the surface. You can see this is really close here with that triangulation, but nothing is touching this boundary. So one thing we can do is we can move our, say we wanted to move this in here. This is what it'll eliminate. We're going to rebuild our surface now. But easy way to eliminate, say you got points that are bad on the edge of the surface. You don't want to delete them all from the surface, have the definition. Just use a shrink wrap boundary and you can delete them this way. All right, let's say we want to bring this back to being a non-destructive boundary. So we'll go right to the properties, so it's properties. We're going to go ahead and unselect our non-destructive and unselect our destructive, apply, rebuild the surface, and there we go. So quick ways is to bounce back and forth between them. So say you wanted to have you know, two boundaries, which one's active. Um, you actually can't have them both active, but it's going to take the latest edit as the uh, one with priority. But um, two ways. So destructive, non-destructive boundaries, surf definition, history. Just because you made an edit to a surface doesn't mean it's permanent. You can always make those changes on select things. So you swap some edges and you didn't really like how it looked. Take off a few edges, leave some edges. You know, the art of working with surfaces is a little bit of, uh, you know, it's a little bit of an art. We're, you know, we're shaping existing conditions based on points. So a lot of ways you can just see your changes and see how things are progressing based on, you know, uh, the points I shot, an accurate description of how that triangular, that tin triangular regular network was created. And do I need to manipulate that with break lines, boundaries, and all that whatnot. So hopefully you found this helpful and uh, appreciate the time.